Um, where are you off to next season? I've still got another year at Derby, so um, at the moment I'm still there. So now, obviously, everyone knows it's it's been a tough tough year with the things behind the scenes at Derby. But again, I've I've played my part. I've played a lot of games. So I was I was happy in that aspect. But what the future holds, I don't know for now. Um, like I say, I've still got a year left. So we'll see what happens. But from your Irish prospect point of view, getting in Stephen Kenny's team, I guess you would you want to be playing at the highest level possible. Of course, yeah. It's it's a really competitive squad we've got now, and you need to be playing football at the highest level you can. And that that's something for me and, and the manager to talk about. But at the moment, um, I'm still here. That game against Luxembourg, the, the impact you made was that, was that your your best moment in an Irish shirt so far? Um, yeah. I think so, yeah. I think they're all very important games and, and I think I had a, a good impact in that game but that's um, something I need to continue doing. Add more assists, add more goals and, and that's something I'm going to try and do this uh, this coming campaign. Thank you. Can I have that please? Hi Jason. Um, it sounds like an almost possible season for Derby. I know you had moments in you where you sort of got in there but the, this takeover has gone on all season and, and still doesn't seem to be finished. How difficult was that and how it's been difficult. Um, I think more so for the fans, for the people around the city. It's been it's been really difficult for us as players. All we could sort of focus on was the, the playing aspect of it, and the people higher up sort of needed to sort that out. But no, it's it's been difficult. Everyone sort of known that, but I think we sort of come together a lot as a as a group of players and as a staff and as a as a club. And I think there's been positives to take out of the season. I know it didn't end the way we wanted to or anyone wanted to, but there's always positives and then looking forward to next season. Obviously some of the players are going to leave, maybe the manager will leave. Uh, Festi, uh, Festi Abaselli has gone, or was going. You know, he signed a, a pre-contract in here a, a couple of weeks ago. Just just talk us through what you thought of that and what you think of him as a player. Festi's a, a really good player. Obviously he's got mesmerising speed like everyone's seen I suppose but he's a lot more than that he's got good quality and um, obviously the manager here has seen that as well and, and we're all looking forward to see what he, he can bring to the squad I think the manager's talked about possibly playing him as a winger did he play much that far forward for um, he has he has at times he's played as a winger he's played as a, a wing back or a full back he, he can do a lot of them and I think that's just another strength of his bow and something he's trying to improve as well thank you Ben Jason, how things? Stephen spoke quite honestly about wanting to win this group. Do you do you feel as a group of players, it's it's time to deliver with a with a strong campaign? Oh, definitely. I think for us to come in and want anything different would be would be wrong. Um, we want to go to every game and, and win it, and that starts on on Saturday against Armenia. How do you manage those four games in just over ten days? We're all professionals. We've had a few of us have had some time off. We've got to rest, and and now we're back at it. I know a four game sort of window is. It's not really heard of, but we've got a big squad now, and then um, everyone's going to play their part. John Fallon, please. It's just on that, Jason, I remember talking about the Luxembourg game. We started against Belgium, and I think we spoke to you after that place. But do you see these four games as an opportunity for you to sort of nail down your place? Look, that's that's up to the manager. I need to I need to get in the team first and foremost. And um, look, there's going to be chances and. And like everyone, I need to take my chance when it comes, and, and hopefully I can do that whenever that may be. Are you happy with the, the last window, your contribution? I think so. Yeah. Ed? Jason, how are you doing? Uh, just in terms of you, you as a player, um, for both country and club, you've played a range of positions. Um, 21 now, obviously, you're, and that can only have been good to the, in your development. Um, do you need to focus now on a specific position? And if so, do you have a specific preference? Look, look, I think playing first and foremost is the most important. I've, I've had chats with the manager at Derby and, and the manager here, and, and they know what's where I like to play and what's best for me. And, and look, at the moment, if I'm playing, I'm happy, and, and when I'm helping the team, I'm happy. So, look, that's, that's what I'm focused on now. Just in terms of if uh, a move should come over, whether it be this year or next, um, would there be a risk of being brought to a club as a sort of a utility guy to do a bit of everything, or you know, would you like to be going to a new club as a this is this is what we need in this position sort of scenario? I don't know. It's a hard question to answer, I suppose. 
I think I'd have to think about it and, and see what's best for me and what's, what's going to help develop me in the long run and, and somewhere I can sort of develop best as, a, as an individual. Would you, just, just to follow up just on that in terms of would, would you love to be in a position where the team's almost built around you in, in that sort of dominating midfield role? Yeah, of course. I think you ask any player, they want to be the, the main man, but I'm, I'm happy to just uh, play my part and, and look, I need to develop. I'm still, like you say, only 21. I, I still have a lot of of Jews to be paid, so I need to keep working hard and, and try and do my best for club and, and country. Gavin, please. Hi, Jason. Uh, if you're going to pick one thing you've learned from working with Wayne Rooney so far, what would you pick? Um, just his, his grit and determination, I think, sort of with the, the situation that's gone on, he's been real sort of a, a calm head and in a real tough situation, so I think I think that probably um, he showed a lot of calm in, in tough moments, and I think that was reflected in the squad and some performances. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And I think I think I've picked up a lot of things. Not only that, but he's um, he's shown a real a real good character this year. Aiden, please. Yeah, look, I think, I think whenever I step out there, I can always mix it with anyone. So, look, if that offer comes in, of course, it's something you want to, you've always dreamt of playing the Premier League, playing at the highest level. But at the moment, I'm, like I said, I'm still a derby player, and, and that's something I need to try and continue on trying and get towards. Do you, do you feel like you did feel the loyalty derby and people start, but there's going to be a lot of changes that, you know, the summer could be a difficult decision for you to make between loyalty and yeah, definitely. Look, I love the I love the city. I love the club. I've been there a while now, and like you say, you need to look after yourself as well. So it's it's a difficult situation, but something I'll, I'll have a think about and and the club as well. Neil, please. I you spoke there about you know what you learned on Wayne. I'm just wondering, was there any kind of end of season excuse me end of season chats with him about how he's perceived and gone for you personally? Did you go to you know he's praising you or? Yeah, well, I don't think at the end of the season. I think throughout the season we always have sort of regular chats and, and conversations of how I can improve and stuff like that. I think we both know I've done well but I could have done better. Um, in a lot of aspects I could have scored more goals and more assists and I think I come in and say that a lot but I think that's something I need to do personally is, is try and get that tally up and um, and that's that's something we're, we're working at as well, not only at club but here as well. I've got down to, what down to you, too sort of cautious in terms of your defensive responsibilities or what to put down? No, I, I don't know. I think it can be a, a mixture of things, positioning maybe. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's something I need to work on the training on. It's not it's not someone else's responsibility to sort of show me that. It's something I can I can definitely improve. Final one from football. Just given what happened at Derby in the last year and if you hadn't had the points to look to be comfortable, you had a tough few months because of injury. Yeah, I think so. I think that happens throughout the season anyway, but like you say, with this sort of season, I've matured a lot. Um, I've had a couple of sort of niggles towards the start of the season, and I think I've grown as a person as well as a footballer, and, and that will hopefully only stand me in good stead. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much for your help. Thank you. Thank you. Safe travels, guys. All right.